Welcome to another episode of Watch Once Over. My name is Big E. Today we're going to be looking at this Accutron uh, Electrostatic DNA uh, Turbine Watch. This one is pretty cool. It's my favorite of all the um, all the DNA models. And that's the ones with the integrated lugs. This thing reminds me of something that would be on Star Trek or something. But these electrostatic watches are really, really cool. Now... Just a full stop, these watches are powered by a capacitor, a.k.a. battery. Um, but the electrostatic system is what they use to charge the battery. The electrostatic motors, which are these two small ones, uh, in layman's term, you move and those two little um, motors make up static electricity. And that is what powers the capacitor, a.k.a. battery. Okay? That's, that, that's how it basically works. Not exactly, but basically. Now, this other generator up here, this one is turns and it powers that second hand. You can see the second hand it is rather thin. Let me move in. See the second hand sweeping right there? That big one is connected to the second wheel, and that's what um, spins that. And the two small ones are your power generators. So it's, it's a pretty cool watch. Really nice technology. It's a little different. You don't get that um, one second hertz um, tick uh, in, in a normal quartz watch. So that's one thing that's cool. You do get this Grand Seiko like sweeping hand and it's very smooth. And this watch is also very accurate. Now, over here at three o'clock, you get um, your uh, Accutron sign that is applied. And let me try to move in on here so you can see this. Look at the finishing on the bridges on there. Now, that blue is just a plate that's up under there that's covering up the rest of the uh, movement, and you can see the capacitor. But the bridges on here are all done up really nice, all beveled and beautiful. And I would say, even though this isn't a traditional mechanical movement with an escapement, it is high horology, in my humble opinion. Now, the Accutron sign is uh, right up under uh, the logo, and that's in white. And then the hands are these Dauphine-style hands that are beautiful. Now, along the outer edge of the severely domed sapphire crystal, you have your markers. Now, that is fully graduated, and those are loomed markers with um, Super Luminova, and the hands also have loom. Let me show you what that looks like. This is going to be your transitioning loom of the Actron. So that is Super Luminova. It looks really good. And that's your nighttime shot. Good looking, good looking shot. And as you move the watch around, you can see the distortion from that severely domed crystal. I, I think that's, that's, that's just a cool thing. It almost looks like a flying saucer. Look at that. That's pretty cool. But um, these DNA Accutron watches are very popular. Very popular. Um, you get a, <coughs> excuse me, closed case back. Um, and it looks just like one of the turbines. And it just tells you some of the uh, specs on here. As you can see, I'm trying to get that. So you can see that. It tells you the caliber on here. See, Accutron Service Center only, and Sapphire Crystal, and then I believe this is, what is that, 5 bar water resistance, let me see if I can zoom in on that, 50 meters, yeah, 50 meters water resistance, stainless steel. Now this also does come in um, a solid gold case, I reviewed, reviewed that one already, but it's a really pretty cool watch. Now, I'll put this watch on my wrist, which is 7.25 inches. It has a really nice vulcanized rubber strap with a matching. Look at that. Twin trigger to point clasp. That is all milled out. It's really nice. And then you get the two keepers. Now, this gray band is super comfortable. And I have to say, this watch is ultra comfortable. It really, really is for a bigger watch. It is. It's light and it's comfy. 
and I like it. Now, let's do some quick measurements on this one. 40, uh, 45 millimeter case. The thickness is uh, just about 16 millimeters. And the lug to lug on the case, let me go to the edge of the case, is going to be about a 53. But since this band curves down so greatly, it does, it does hug the wrist very, very nicely. I have to say. It's, it's just an all-around cool piece, collector's piece. But this is a watch that if you purchase this, put this in your rotation at least two or three times a week because you, did, you do need to keep that capacitor charged up, a.k.a. battery. And this is a watch to be worn. This isn't um, something to put up. This is something that is basically like a living legend. You need to wear these watches. I'm going to put it on again. I might just have to purchase this one. This, this one is so cool. Once you get these in person, they're so much cooler and they're so comfortable. It's just something that you might almost just have to have. But anyway, that's the watch once over for today. My name is Big E. God bless you. Please subscribe. And as usual, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.